Whoa, look at that. Whoa! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in the car, actually. Um, my mom and I just are leaving Little Saigon, and I decided that I wanted to try some of the Vietnamese desserts. So we have three right here. We went to Saigon Bakery, which is by, what is it called? My Thuan, Thuan. it's T-H-U-A-N, I'll link it below. And these are the three that we we got. It's buy two, get one free, which is a pretty good deal. Thuan is international. <laughs> but because I think there is such a strong uh, Hispanic culture here in Southern California and they have this so I'm gonna try the flan first which mom how, how would you describe the flan, the flan, the flan is, is a, 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 like an egg custard it's an egg custard with like a syrup on top mom this custard the the, the syrup tastes smell it. it sounds like it has ginseng in it no, it's a, like a molasses. It's like a molasses, but it's not very thick. So let's try. I've had flan before, but let's try theirs. The the custard part, it's okay. I think because it's a Vietnamese. <laughs> Do you guys see my mom's finger? <laughs> Just so you know, there is somebody driving this car. <laughs> My mom wants to try it, but I don't think she wants to be on camera, right? No, the Mexican version is better, I think. Because I think they're, this flan is traditionally Mexican. It's better. Um, what would you give it out of five, mom? It's kind of small. Okay, what would you give it out of five? Oh, I'd give it, I'd give it four. Wow, i give it a three oh. out of five. <laughs> but as always in my and, taste test, yeah? And, and don't eat it. Get no, wait, hold on. In my taste test, I also always do a second, second impression. <laughs> I do. Mm. So let me finish it. No, I, I'll, I'll change mine to a three and a half out of five. And my mom, <laughs> that's my mom's hand. <laughs> Next, I'm going to try this one with the legume in um, jelly or whatever it is. And they recommended, is this like a coconut milk? They recommended to eat it with the coconut milk? No, the other one. Was no, it's this one. Agar, agar. That's for agar, agar. No, it's for this one. She okay. said this one, yeah. Agar, agar, for the agar. <laughs> I told you, you guys said my mom's cute. She does exist. She's over here. She just doesn't want to be on camera. So I'm going to put a little bit of the coconut milk in here and we'll try this. But let's try actually without the coconut milk first. Let's try it. Whoa, look at that. Whoa! Whoa! Is it sweet? I have some meth. Is it sweet? No. I'm gonna taste it. The texture is, is very slimy. And the bean tastes like mung bean to me put that in there she said put a little bit so I put a little bit let's see what it tastes like oh my goodness the coconut mom the coconut milk is salty salty mm-hmm yeah it can be salty though. what is it very unique actually combination of very mild and salty and sweet. Mm. Yeah, it's good, right? That's different, totally. Very new unique, experience. right? New experience. Okay. Second impression with the coconut. It's not even milk. I feel like it's like a, a salty coconut syrup. It's really, really good. I give this a four and a half out of five. What okay. do you give it? Yeah. My mom agrees with me. So four and a half out of five with this. I don't know. If you guys are Vietnamese and you know what this is called, leave it down in the comment below. Back. We just went under a bridge, so I had to cut. So this is the last one I um, want to try, or I have. It has the agar agar uh, powder, milk, co 
coconut, a little bit of coffee in it. It's like kind of, it's the texture of it with the spoon really is just kind of like the uh, flan, the egg custard without the, the uh, what's it called, the syrup. So I can't get the bottom portion, just the top. Sorry, we're a little shaky right now. I'm guessing, I'm guessing the top bit is just the agar agar, maybe with the coconut, because it doesn't really taste like anything. And now I'm gonna get a piece with the coffee. Ooh. It's got a very dense, it's a pr pretty much a de very dense pudding. Mom, do you wanna try it? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit dry. I feel like it needs a little bit more moisture to it. I hate that word, but it does need some more moisture on it or in it. Let's, let's do a second impression. I feel like this one is so dense that it needs a little bit of um, like liquid like the flan one does. Cause to me it's just because this I feel like it needs a little to be a little denser and this one is too dense so somewhere in between um it's interesting because this is the one I picked and it's my mm, not my favorite this one is my favorite this is so surprising and so delicious I give this one with the agar agar and coffee and coconut three th mm, I don't know I'll give it a four just because I didn't like it as much as this one but I liked it a little bit more than this one. So a four, we gave it a four and a half. Four and a half. And this one, the flan, she gave it a four. And she gave the one with the agar agar powder a three. So it's interesting. We have the same favorite, but our second and third choices are a little bit different. So um, yeah, that's it for this taste test video. Thanks mom for being a guest in my video. She's over there. See you next time. <laughs> See you. She's already concluding the video for me. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more taste test videos. I hope you all have a really successful week and I will see you next week. Bye. Anyways, that was such a tangent. The first thing I really love about this bag is the front zip pocket. Um, you can put like a cell phone or a lip balm in it, but I will say